Hey guys, Buzz here, and today I know it's been a really long time since I made one of these. Uh, I actually did went on the server and got someone to sort of design, get sort of a basic bridge design for me, because I don't know for some reason I was getting sort of stumped, and I know they're kind of simple, but um, I got I, <laughs> the incentive was I'd talk about how much I love them the whole video, and um, hopefully that shouldn't be too hard, because it is someone who I really do love who designed a great bridge. Now, totally. Now, um, before we start talking about him, we'll quickly chuck a bit of this in. I uh, I found out I actually smelted 64 pieces of glass at some point, for, clearly for this incredible house that will be built up here. Oh, also, I've got the uh, the shaders mod or something on. I don't know what it is. It makes the game look so nice, though. I love it. I mean, I don't know if this is a little bit overkill, to be honest. Like, this kind of thing. I don't know what you guys think. I reckon it looks pretty sweet, especially in this island. I, I think it makes the island look really nice and vibrant. But, moving along, um, so we're just going to let, uh, oh yeah, I also placed a second furnace in, just then, just for this quickly. So, what we're going to do is we're going to quickly smelt, uh, all that into, I believe it's going to be 128 pieces. And I guess while we wait for that, we can get set on the bridge, but also I need to quickly make my stairs. And we shouldn't need too many stairs here. I don't think so. I don't think there's, you know, maybe 5 times 4, 20 stairs is way too much, but we'll do it anyway. So, we'll get straight to it now. Um, it's actually going night time. Okay, well, I guess night time. I wish stuff smelted overnight. That would be incredible. But let's try and just spam. Oh, okay, that didn't take long. I was going to say spam right click, but we didn't have to. Anyway, um, so I guess we can start talking about... Oh, God, it's horribly bright. Oh, okay. Anyway. Wow. Moving along. Um, so, yeah. So, now totally. Uh, I remember... I I've, I've made him for the server. I know that much, but I'm not exactly sure what I thought of him at first. So this is, this is I think I know I met him because of a uh, a guy called Michael Kenny. Now, me and Michael Kenny we got a bit of a sort of a love hate relationship going. I like to think I'm not sure if his end is more of the hate thing, but I mean I'm I'm definitely showing the love for him. I just don't think he wants to really show the love for me that much. But, um, I mean, it, it, it's not my fault. So, um, yeah, I've, but I've known Michael Kenny since uh, TSS, which is, uh, if none of you know, it's uh, Flabberleaky's original sort of endeavour into the whole sort of community online gaming thing. And that was for the uh, Sims. But, moving along. Um, so, yeah, I met, I met uh, Nile through him, I think. And I think the m first time I've probably ever talked to him, was on RPG, and uh, I had a pretty big spiel on RPG, right? This is our TSS server, by the way. I used to play that a lot. I mean, I'd get home and play it for like a few hours and stuff. I had a, uh, you know, a lot of American friends and all that because of it. But I have this feeling that this is the wrong height, but it's definitely not. Anyway, <laughs> um, so yeah, so basically, uh, that that little RPG sort of thing. That's where I. Let's call it first encounter. I guess we'll say that. That's a nice way to put it. So that was where I had first encounter. And um, first encounter, you know, he, he, he seemed like a nice guy. I was like, yeah, you seem like a nice enough guy. Not exact words, obviously, but... Oh, God, that's embarrassing. But, um... Never really talked to him too much. And I want that... Where's that going? Yeah, so I never talked to him that much. But uh, when I did talk to him the first time, it was actually... I, I think it was the Rugby World Cup that really brought us together. Because, uh... There'd been a, an Ireland versus uh, Australia match, and well, he's Irish by the way, and uh, so is Michael Kenny. But um, there'd been there'd been uh, some big uh, Ireland versus Australia match, and I can't remember if I was spewing about it or I I don't think I was too impressed. And he, because he knows I'm Australian, he uh, <laughs> he straight away got he got right onto that and uh, started giving me shit for it because we were really expected to win that and the fact that we didn't was a bit of a, a bit of a mishap to be honest because the Irish team isn't supposed to be that good but um basically we I talked to him for a good oh I'd say 15 20 minutes just about the rugby and then from then on uh, I think every time I come to the server and he was there we'd uh, we'd talk about like the most recent rugby scores and stuff like that and I mean I, it was great it was good fun having you know so, someone else who actually understood the sport because you don't get that too often these days, and it's kind of depressing, and I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. I'm kind of changing up my design, both sides. I'll uh, we'll generalize it later. But, 
after after that, ever since, it's just been an absolute love affair with him. I mean, we, he comes on the server, hey Boz, hi, and I mean, we have great little talks. He was he was a bit reluctant to design a bridge for me initially, but I convinced him, and I'm so happy that he did because he did design a beautiful bridge. Well, not beautiful. It's it, it's sort of simple. Like it's, I've modified it a little bit clearly, but his bridge was it, it's got such a good, sim decent, simple design. Because a lot of people were designing very complicated bridges that just weren't necessary, and they were a little bit, well, I'd say overkill, for what I was looking for, and um. He just created the perfect little bridge, and I fell in love with it, much like I fell in love with him. Oh, it would have been months ago. Yeah, but basically, me and Niall, I mean, I've I've had like hours, just playing around with him, just just talking to him, just having a good time. And I'm thinking of actually going to to Ireland soon, just to go meet him, because I think that's how much of a top bloke he is. And oh, we've got half our smooth stone done. Good. That will give me 64 pieces of thingo. Because they give, you have to use three pieces and they give you three back. Very cheeky. Bloody notch. Come on, let's go. Oh god, this is such an effort. I hate doing this. I'll just spam it. Um, yeah, but I was thinking of going up there. You know, like classic sort of rom com situation. I think it could go off. We're probably gonna. Might have sex first night. But because I love him so much, I'm not going to, like, leave him or anything. So it's perfectly fine. And, um, yeah, I just, I just don't know what else to say. I just, he's such a great guy and you can't, you can't get past him. You just, you don't find those kind of features in people often anymore. It's really depressing. But, uh, now I don't you guys, if you're on the server... Look out for him. He's an absolute, absolutely great guy to play with. And I mean, not, and I, I mean, I do, I do really have to thank uh, Michael Kenny here for bringing him to the server. Cause without Michael, this this relationship would have never sprung, and we wouldn't, I wouldn't be in the great situation that I am right now, to be honest. And that is just, that's just it. Cause I mean, probably. I'd put him in the top five guys in guys in TSS these days. I mean, he's a oh, he's just he's helpful. Got a great name. He's a he's a diamond donor, I believe, which is, means he's very big on the community spirit. And that's what I always like to see a bit of community spirit, in case you're wondering. And um, I am shitting on so much right now. I'm really not talking about anything. I'm just kind of repeating what I was saying earlier. So, I guess we can uh. We'll get back to this. Oh, actually, you know what I can do? I can talk about other bridges. So, uh, thanks to the other people that designed bridges. I believe Bug152 did one of my... No, not of my creation. He didn't do one. Who, who else did one? God, I can't remember the names. It's horrid. Um, I, I, could, I could show the names if I saw them on a list, but I can't quite remember right now. This is really embarrassing. Oh, well. A lot of other people designed bridges, Um, but this one was just so simple, and it sort of s suited what uh, I was going for so well that I had to do it because it's a beautiful bridge design and I'm not sure about this I'm, I don't know if I should have them on these seems a little a little bit silly but at the same time a little bit a little bit smart see that looks weird maybe if I just that also looks weird why is it doing that what's going on here as if it doesn't like build properly. Wait, wait, wait. No, wrong play. Oh, holy shit. This is embarrassing. Come on, let's go. Let's, let's. Alright, well, that likes to build like that. I don't know, maybe, maybe just remove all of them then, because that, that doesn't look too fancy, to be honest. That looks a bit, a little bit disgusting. What I can do is I'll just place some torches there later. We'll place torches. Don't. It'll look beautiful, I promise. And, um, so. Oh, I should probably, I guess I'll explain to a few people why this video is so late onto this scene. Um, I had planned to record this video a good, yeah, we'll just say a good while ago. So, basically, um, I had one of these not too long ago, actually, but 
I've had another. The the cheeky ag camp is uh has popped up again, people, and it is. This time it's coming for bloody vengeance. I'll tell you what. It uh it it came. I I knew it was coming to be honest, but I just I kind of forgot about it, and then I thought I was gonna record the video, and then uh Flav I started talking to James Flavaliki, and um. I kind of lost track of things. I guess I could. I guess you could say. So. <laughs> That that video is not coming. I mean, this video is coming obviously now. You're, you're, you're bloody watching it. But um, I guess uh, I'll, I'll go over the highlights of the agriculture camp because people will absolutely love this. So um, first day highlight, Matt, we are we are, we went horse riding, I believe, and horse riding was absolutely great. It's, it's a lot of fun to be honest. I mean, yeah, it seems kind of gay. But horse riding is a fun bloody sport. Not well, not, it's not really a sport. You sort of just rode horses around to some person's field. But it was great. I mean, I, I really enjoyed it. I don't know what other people thought of it. I believe there was a, there was a lot of love towards shown towards it. So I'm pretty happy about that. But um, basically, horse riding first day would have been the highlight. Second day, it was a real it was highlight field to be honest. Now. This was the day that really went off because uh, we, if I any, okay, so, you know, I'm just going to say, like, we preg tested a cow. Now, if you don't know what is involved in the preg testing procedure, um, firstly, lucky you, but I'm about to tell you, so shut your ears if you don't want to hear. It's rather grotesque. Basically, they give you a really big sleeve and, um, they, you, you got this sleeve, right, and you put it on. It just covers like your whole arm up to your shoulder. And the general gist of things is that you stick in your hand up a cow's anus. It's it's horrid. I don't understand where like they decided that would be a good thing to do on a on a camp. Because I was rather freaked most of the time by the whole situation. I mean there's there's just something about it, like and it's all Oh, I should probably... It's its bloody warm up there, too. It's its disgusting. It's like... Why am I saying all this? This is weird. But it is warm. Now, oh, holy... I did that so badly. I'm such an idiot. No, we'll do it. We'll just, just create a few. We don't need that many. But, um, yeah, it's its its warm in there. And you sort of just got to slide your hand up. And it's really disgusting. I'd, if I was to give it, like, a rating out of 10 on, would I do it? Fuck no. Given the chance, I would have never done that because it is, it is horrid. It's probably the filthiest thing I've ever done. Like, you, it, and th these cows got brutalized too. I mean, there, there's, there's a fair few of us. There's what, like, uh, I'd, I'd say, well, there's a busload, so there's, there's at least twenty, definitely over twenty, and it was being fisted by over twenty people. This poor cow, and it was screaming like it was just like. And it was bad, but I don't know if that was the highlight or the highlight was later when um we actually had a, a, a class, a local. So the, so we were in Bathurst, by the way, So and I'm from Sydney, so that's it's a bit out, it's a bit rural. And uh, I would not be considered a local in this kind of area. But the locals out there, mate, I'll tell you what, they're a weird bunch. I mean, I've started talking a little bit like them, and it's kind of scaring me just a bit. You can probably tell I'm talking... Oh, I'm not talking that differently in this video. But, oh my god, they are absolutely disgusting. Um, we watched this... We had to do... We also, that day, watched a sheep, a sheep dissection. And that's basically... They were showing us, like, the stomach or something, but... Th these girls... They're just like... Oh, this is just like... Just like... Skinning, skinning a rabbit. And I'm just like, is this a joke? Are you... It was just fucking... They're weird, man. And, um... And then after that... I'm just gonna chuck some stairs down here, by the way. Just because it'll... It'll look fancy. <laughs> yeah, but... No, we, we had that bloody... That spiel. And, uh... And then... Another... Later... Um... So they... They drugged this sheep, right? And then killed it. Like, the guy just slices it open and stuff. It's really... It's quite rough. But, um... The most disgusting part was it was actually pregnant with two fetuses. 
And seeing the fetus, they're, they're like tiny little baby sheep in like a ball of like liquid or something. I don't know what it is. It's, it's, it looks like you could chuck them in water and they'd like grow like those weird little old jelly things. And that was just, that was confronting. A bit, not, not too confronting, it was kind of cool. But um, yeah, that was that day. And then last day, we just went to our went to a, a cattle yard where they sell cattle and that really wasn't that interesting. Then we went to Maccas and that's where it got real interesting, I can tell you. And I got a free chocolate shake. But um, I've kind of been talking and just walking around for a little bit. Uh, basically this video is done. And I can actually get rid of these now, can't I? Because those are bloody useless. Uh, I need some supports. Let's build something. Because this is Minecraft and you can do what you want. Come on, build. No, wrong way. There we go. Then this will allow me to destroy this. And while I destroy this, I'm going to quickly talk. So, yeah, this bridge is, these bridges are done. And um, as you can tell, they look absolutely fantastic. Ooh, if I had to give them a rating out of 10, it'd be at least a, a 12. Because now I totally built them, and I love him, and he is beautiful. And you can all go thank him. You can all go to the server and thank him for this wonderful episode. Because he is what managed to get me to finally do another episode. Because I was... I've had this episode lined up for a good well, week or so, and I just I just couldn't find a decent bridge design, and I was fuming about it. I was getting absolutely... I was just pissed, because I could not find a design that I liked, and this design is just lovely. And I'm going to work with it now. So, thanks for watching, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys later. Next episode, I'm, I want to get settled on this house. This house is going to cover basically the rest of this area. I'm going to have definitely a water fountain here, like a little water feature. Uh, maybe one here, depends how I'm feeling. But it is going to look absolutely great by the end of it, I hope. So see you guys later.